11, today we're checking in with women we love who've experienced both their successes and their setbacks in public, but they have the power and the tenacity to keep moving forward and inspiring fans like the Tam fam. Well, my next guest, award-winning actress and singer Jennifer Holliday. Wow. We first fell in love with her as the iconic Effie White in the original Broadway smash Dream Girls. Her gut-wrenching powerhouse performance of the show-stopping ballad, and I am telling you, I'm not going, brought her worldwide fame and earned her the Tony Award for Best Actress in a Musical and a Grammy. Well, since then, she's earned a second Grammy four nominations, recorded 12 albums, five top 10 singles, and collaborated and appeared with artists like Michael Jackson, Barbara Streisand, Luther Vandross, and was even asked to sing with Foreigner, one of the best-selling rock bands of all time, for a special rendition of their hit, I Wanna Know What Love Is. But despite all of that success throughout her 42-year career, Jennifer admits there have been a lot of bumps along the way. In 2013, in fact, in an interview with NPR, she shared her perspective on life and she said this, don't try to figure out the ending of the movie. Stay to see it. Don't try to figure out how to play it because it takes different twists and turns. Well, Jennifer is still writing her story and coming off her latest success, her highly anticipated return to New York City stage and a string of sold out, critically acclaimed performances that made headlines. Hmm. I have to take this moment in. I have to breathe this in. This is a live TV show, and I'm gonna keep it real. I'm a kid from Luling, Texas. This girl taught me to dream. Because she is the original dream girl. Let's give it up for actress, singer, Broadway star, Jennifer Holliday! I said I have to take it all in because I, I mean, I had this long thing written and ready to read. <laughs> I ran out of breaths with all the accolades, so there's <laughs> Thank that. Thank you. But also just the overwhelming success that I think sometimes we take for granted that you had, to be honest with you, because we instantly go to Dream Girls. Mm -hmm. Then it's like, no, she won two Grammys. She's performed with everybody from Barbara Streisand to Luther to Michael Jackson. I, I mean, what, how do you describe this career? Well, I, I, I describe it as um, an up and down, you know? Yeah. Shoe business uh, is a difficult business. Yeah, it is. And a lot of people don't realize that I was very young when I was uh, in Dreamgirls. Well, you were 21, 22? I actually started working on the show at 19. Wow. And when we were... Yes. Look at that baby. Yes. <laughs> and <laughs> when we opened on Broadway, I had just turned 21. Wow. And then when I won the uh, Tony Award, I had just turned uh, 20. I uh, hadn't even, yeah, hadn't even turned 22 yeah. yet. Yeah. You know? So, and then my first Grammy at 23. So I started very young, you know, went straight from Houston, Texas out of the Baptist we Choir. We have Houston folks <laughs> here. <laughs> You know, and that's the thing. You, you, you go straight from the Baptist choir into this great fame, and, and I'm so struck by even recently, you had sold out performances here in New York City Thank just you. a few weeks ago. Thank you. Um, I want to read some of the reviews here. One, one Theater Life said, simply sensational, an intimate, mind-blowing adventure that chronicles her life in song with artistry that is amazing to witness. Times Square Chronicle said, she may have spent some time trying to figure out where she belonged, but it was clear she's found her way. Thank you. Thank found you. Her way. Thank you. You've been, you've been so open uh, about the, the, the struggle to find your way. We assumed Jennifer's got it all. But in reality, you talk about depression. You talk about, to your point, trying to figure out life after such a meteoric rise at a young age. Yes, um, well, first I want to thank New Yorkers for turning oh. out for 54 Below, the Diamond right, Series. Right, and sold out. And thank you. I, it was, uh, I wanted to take the opportunity of being in such an intimate um, uh, 
venue to talk about my life because yeah. I know that a lot of people don't know a lot about me. I'm usually, you know, pretty quiet. And but it has been a difficult one. And at first, struggling with um, depression, even trying to commit suicide by the time I was 30. Oh. And uh, just a difficult life. Um, you know, I started so young, not as a child actress, but as a, a, a teenager going into a young lady. So um, by the time I was 27 years old, my career was over. Wow. Um, you know, I had to file for bankruptcy uh, at 27 years old. The, my recording career just didn't take off as I had hoped it to, and a lot of that was image with the weight. You know, um, they just didn't want to back me or support me yeah. because they figured, you know, well, she's overweight. And back then, the 80s had just started to go into video and TV and stuff. So it's it's been a, a, a long, difficult It has run. been, but you're still standing. Yeah. You still got sold out shows. <laughs> I mean, listen. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Selling out in New York City in the winter is not I know, easy. I it know, is not I think easy. You love you, New York. I oh mean, my God. and so you're still standing. Uh, you live in Atlanta now. I you live, live in Atlanta. Atlanta. Yes. You love golfing, I hear. Yes. Are you a good golfer? I'm an okay golfer. Right. But but one thing. Look how cute you look. <laughs> Jennifer, if, you, if I'm golfing and I'm you, right, mm -hmm. and the minute my competitor's about to swing, I would just be like, and no, 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 no. <laughs> I would mess them up. You, you have a weapon. Just start singing. <laughs> They're not going to be able to hit the ball. You just go, no, 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 no. <laughs> Is that, is that too much to ask? That's too much to ask <laughs> because, because you'll slow up the game. You'll slow up you'll the game. Slow up the game okay. Because the thing about golf that I love is like, I, I, I'm not a, like a great golfer, but I can keep it moving, right. you know, because there are other people who are well, trying to teach. Well, you look cute, and that's half you. the part Thank in golfing. You.